All right, here with Jeff Mayweather. Jeff, uh, Jake Paul, fresh off his victory over Nate Robinson. Looks like he set his eyes on UFC fighters, specifically Conor McGregor. What do you think about a potential Jake Paul Conor McGregor fight? I think it's a, it's a it would be a very entertaining fight. Don't necessarily know who would win. Um, it all depends on who you like best. I, I'm sure. To me, I think that um, I think that Jake would have a better chance of winning because he has been preparing for boxing, even though Conor's been involved in combat sport a lot longer. Boxing is totally different than than um, UFC. So, but he's still training boxing, though. I mean, yeah, he's still training boxing, but still, he's not he's not physical. He's not he's not training boxing exclusively. It seems like most of the professional fighters I've talked to give Jake no chance. That you're kind of on the other side of that. Why do you think that so many people disagree with your assessment? Well, I mean, my thing, my thing is this: I think that Jake has really, he's got a, an exclusive boxing coach that's teaching him the right things, and I'm not not saying that he's beating nobody that's really a threat or even a beast or anything like that, but. I mean, he's been very impressive in, in his two fights. You're going to get and, a mess that fits you, man? Hmm? You're going to get a mess that fits you or what? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't get me wrong. I mean, I think that I really do think that either guy can win. But I'm going to be honest, what I've seen, Connor's boxing skills were absolutely horrible. Well, I was going to say, do you think a lot of you are saying this potentially because a uh, little sour grapes because Connor was arguably winning the fight with uh, Floyd through 10 rounds? Let, let's stop that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Connor has not even come close to winning. And the thing is, is that I thought Connor was going to even perform better. He looked horrible. He didn't even know how to box. So, based on what you saw there, you think that he wouldn't have a chance against No, I him? mean. Or his chance. Even though. Of course, he was in there with Floyd, but still, it didn't matter because, I mean, he was throwing punches. Look, what the hell was that bullshit? So, I mean, I didn't see nothing about him impress me to make me think that um, he had a chance of beating him. Jake. Were you able, on the two fights that Jake's had, were you able to gauge enough of what he did considering he was in there with a, a YouTuber and, a, and an NBA player? No, um, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm, I mean... Their level of competition was, I mean, a million miles away in terms of that. So, I mean, I guess I should give Connor a little, a little, a little slack on that because he was in there with one of the best fighters to ever step in the ring. Uh, um, la last question. I mean, is it good or bad for the sport? We have it. Well, I think it's. I think it's good. At one point, I, I thought it was bad, but. I don't think it's bad now because, you know, boxing is a sport disguised as a business. Business disguised as a sport. Yeah, that's what it is. But you favor, but overall, you, if you were a betting man, you'd put your money on Jake. If I was a betting man, yeah, I would put my money on Jake. All right, man. Thanks.